Isle of Wight is not just the largest island in the UK, but it is an excellent location for people seeking a quick getaway from their professional lives. The island is known for its tranquility and calm countryside. The Isle of Wight also has several resorts and beautiful beaches, which makes it an excellent holiday destination for families with kids. There are also a bunch of affordable hotels on the island for people who might want to extend their stay, which is very common. But where can you take the ferry to the Isle of Wight? The Isle of Wight is located in the English Channel near the coasts of Portsmouth and Southampton City separated by the Solent, and unless you own a motorized boat or a yacht, the only way to get to the island safely is by taking a ferry service from Hampshire on the English mainland. Most people prefer to take their cars along with them if they are familiar with the Isle while first comers can explore the island by multiple bus and tour services available near the ferry drop-off locations. For those who prefer to walk or cycle, there are numerous pathways possible across the island. At present, three businesses offer ferry services from a couple of locations, such as Portsmouth or Southampton on the English mainland to several towns on the Isle of Wight. I will provide you with an overview of the ferries you can take and their routes. Red Funnel Ferries The first on our list is the Red Funnel Ferries, which is headquartered in Southampton, Hampshire. The company has a fleet of ferries that are capable of moving vehicles, passengers as well as freight to and from Southampton and the Isle of Wight through the Solent. Red Funnel operates a total of four ferries for transporting vehicles and another three just for foot passengers. Although a car is not mandatory for individual tourists or a couple visiting the island but for families, a private car is a great idea. Red Funnel has three ferries currently in service for transportation of personal vehicles and another for moving freight. All vehicle ferries can be boarded at the dedicated Red Funnel Terminal near the Southampton Vehicle Terminal and will transport your vehicles to the East Cows, a small town on the island. The vehicle ferries can carry at most 200 cars and take anywhere from 55 minutes to 1 hour to reach the Isle. At present, the company operates three high-speed catamarans for transporting passengers who do not wish to take their cars to the island. Red Funnel calls them Red Jets. All foot passenger Red Jets can be boarded at the dedicated Red Funnel Terminal near the Southampton Passenger Terminal. Instead of the East Cows, the passenger ferries drop visitors to the West Cows, a seaport town on the Isle of Wight. Due to their smaller size, catamarans usually take about 25 minutes to cross the Solent. White Link Ferries White Link is another ferry service operating between the English mainland and the Isle of Wight. The company headquarter is located in Portsmouth, Hampshire, and operates the largest fleet of vehicle ferries to and from the island among all three ferry companies. White Link is the main competitor of Red Funnel Ferries. White Link owns a total of six ferries for moving personal automobiles across the Solent. White Link operates their vehicle ferries on two routes between the English mainland and Isle of Wight. Out of six, three ferries operate between Lemington, Hampshire and Yarmouth, a port town on the west region of the island. The other three operate between Portsmouth, Hampshire and Fishbourne, a village on the east coast of the island. The Lemington, Yarmouth route takes about 40 minutes while the Portsmouth, Fishbourne will take up to 45 minutes to cross. White Link started the passenger-only catamarans in 2009 to meet the growing demand for foot passenger travels. These foot passenger catamarans run between Portsmouth, Hampshire, and Ryde, a seaside town on the Isle of Wight. Given the distance, the smaller ferries take at most 22 minutes to cross the Solent and drop the passengers at the Ryde Pier head near the Island Line rail line, making it easier for those without cars to get around the island by trains or a bus. Hover Travel Ferry to the Isle of Wight Hover Travel is the only travel company in Britain that operates commercial hovercraft ferry services between the English mainland and the Isle of Wight. It is also the oldest hovercraft operators in the world since other similar companies wrapped up their hovercraft operations and switched to catamarans. Most people are generally excited and favor hover travel over other ferry services for a chance to experience traveling by hovercrafts for the first time. At the moment, Hover Travel has a pair of 12000 TDS hovercrafts called the Solent Flyer and Island Flyer, both were built by Griffin Hoverwork and entered service in 2016. The company does not have a ferry service for vehicles as of February 2020. The hovercrafts can carry 78 passengers to and from the island and can sometimes hover as high as 1.5 meters above the surface. Hover Travel operates its services between South Sea and Portsmouth, Hampshire, and Ride. Due to a significantly shorter route, Hovercrafts traveling at 40 knots can cross the Solent in about 10 minutes, making this the fastest possible way to reach the Isle of Wight from Hampshire. Some passengers have complained about the bumpy ride of the hovercraft, which is caused by the uneven lift created by the powerful fans but since it is the quickest path, many are still willing to compromise. 
All links to these companies and routes are provided in the description of the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have you ever been to the Isle of Wight? Let me know in the comments.